Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flower Gold Wizard Channel. I'm Jason. That's Rigby, my mining partner. We're part-time gold prospectors based in Wisconsin. So today, we're at Lake Superior. We're gonna try to get some good beach gold today. It might be one of the last trips up here of the year, if not the last one. Uh, we, they, they had a pretty good snowstorm up here not too long ago, and there is still quite a bit of snow on the ground a couple miles away from the lake. The lake kept it from snowing here too much, or at least sticking on the ground because of a little bit warmer weather over the water. So uh, we're in real good shape today. It's supposed to be up in the 60s, and we're gonna have a great day today. No rain, good amount of sunshine. So we're gonna make our way down that way, oh, about a mile or so. Let's go see what we can find. Well, not too long ago, they had a huge windstorm up here and it destroyed the beach. Holy cow. Look at all those trees down up there. There were reports of 30 foot waves on Lake Superior. 30 footers. <laughs> that is really, that is really impressive. I mean, it's not the ocean, but 30 foot is 30 foot, man. I don't care where you at. So we're making our way. There's quite a bit more beach here today than there was last time because that windstorm chewed a lot of it away and now the water's calm today. So climbing over these trees here is quite a bit easier than going out in the water and getting crashed by the big tasty barrels that we were last time, eh Big? So we're still on the hunt. There's some black deposits here or there, but not what we're looking for. He'll find it. Ooh, we're still making it. What do we got here? Like an old life preserver. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Maybe we'll grab that on our way back. Unless you want to wear it now, Rig. Hopefully we find some good sand soon. I tell you what. That was a long walk. Everything is gone. This whole beach section right here, as far as the eye could see that way, was four feet higher than probably where I'm standing now. Just solid sand and black sand deposits everywhere. It is all gone, just absolutely gone. So I've been testing around here a little bit, wherever I can find, even get my shovel in the ground. It's just solid rocks here. And I did find a little bit of gold. I'll show you where I got it from. Right there. <laughs> I was just digging a hole down there to see if I could find any black sand at all. And there's nothing down there, but you're running a middle old, you know, beach type sand and pebbles and cobbles. And surprisingly enough, there is some gold in there. A few pieces, I think I got, I don't know, five or six little tiny pieces in there. But guess what? I didn't bring a classifier along. And that stuff there running all those cobbles over the sluice I brought today just wouldn't be feasible. Now there was some black sand deposits down that way. They're, they're rather thin, but the stuff is really easy to work. And if I could find a spot down there somewhere that uh, we can just shovel right off the top and not have to worry about all those darn rocks, that's what we're gonna do. So. We're walking back that way. Ooh, there's a looker. Look at that one. I might take my time on the way back, check for pretty beach rocks. This wizard told me to get her a pail. I tell ya. We're tired. <laughs> We're almost back to the parking area. And we've been panning and panning and testing and testing. And we just can't find any gold. We're finding, finding some black sand deposits like that. They're real thin, but there's no gold in any of it. None of it. So we're moving. We're gonna get back to the truck, take a little ride, see if we can't find something down greener pastures. Well, we're not far from the truck now, but I noticed this old million year old beach bottom right here. And I thought I'd take a pan right down below it. I didn't find any gold in that stuff, but while I was panning, came across this here fossil 
Pretty handsome little clam or scallop or oyster or something. <laughs> Some kind of mussel or no, of another. So I'm gonna hang on to that and off we go. Well, me and Rigby moved to a different location, a few miles up the road. And I think we're gonna be way better, uh, way better off here. I can already see lots and lots of black sand and this doesn't look a whole lot different. I'm standing next to a big old stump that broke off of the bank here. And uh, it doesn't look too much different from the last time I was here. So before I get make the jump down here, I was peeking around at the, at the old garbage laying around from the old uh, lumber mill here, that was here. And this was sticking out of the ground right here. A little white bottle with a cool little gold, gold top of some sort or another. I'll get that down to the bottom and get that washed off. But it's intact. I've never seen a top like that before. I don't know what the heck that is. So let's get down there, find some gold, check this baby out. Cool. All right, we're finally running. Now to save you guys the boredom of 20, 20 or 30 or more test pans without gold in them, I just went ahead and I started testing off camera till I found some gold. And there's gold in this stuff right here. Now this is my first scoop I got on my machine right here. And as you can see, I have my converted high banker turned into beach banker. <laughs> And I do believe we're gonna get some good gold today. Now, that little test pan I did over there before had about 15 pieces in it for, I don't know, maybe a quarter of one of these scoops. So we're already off to a good start. Now, while we're running some of this material here, I was doing a little bit of shoveling down in this area to level out my tub over there. And I noticed there's really good looking black sand down in this stuff too. So while we're running, I'm gonna be testing. Let's throw, throw a bucket through there and see what it looks like. I tell you, for getting off to a rough start, I think it's gonna turn out to be a fantastic day. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, I almost dropped it. Let's take a look at that thing. Yeah, get her, get her wet and get some of that muck off there. Look at that forest mud. Well, it's nice and clean. There's some writing on the bottom too. Let's see what that says on there. Uh, Old Spice. <laughs> That's an old bottle of Old Spice. Oh, be darn, look at that. I gotta look that up, see how old that is. Well, it's Old Spice. <laughs> cool. Let's keep running. All right, I'll grab some more of that there. Throw that right on there. That goes right down into my plunge pool. That keeps all that material underneath the water, down under that plate over my VDR mats, onto my gold hog mother load mats, and down into my sawtooth beach mat right there. That's a pretty good combination, wouldn't you say? Well, we're way over there, running away. And like I said, we're gonna do some testing. Rigby is up here tromping around and he gave me, a, gave me a big bark. And he basically told me to go right behind these logs right here See how all those gravels are built up right there and in a tight line right here, right underneath this log, it turns into black sand and regular sand and then up on a little bit of a bank right there. Well, I took just a little bit of a scrape right there because I usually have some luck in areas like this here, kind of a low pressure zone behind these logs right here. And we got some nice pieces. Look at that. That's a nice chunk of gold and the waves just crashed my pan a little bit but there's more than that one in there that's for sure so i'm gonna grab a big pan of that stuff because i think we're really gonna put some gold in a pan with that right there we're gonna get that over there because it's getting late god darn it's almost noon already we didn't get nothing done nothing Rigby says it's snack time! Snack time! Today's snack time is brought to you by Blue Nest Beef. Bobo Lynx. That's right. There's a little 
confirmation or discount code right there. You can get $10 off your first package. I also have a discount code in my, in my description section of my video, and you can get that even after this one expires. These things are awesome. I tell you what. There you go, buddy. Yeah, he needs that. He's a hard work miner. All right, we've only got about two gallons run through this baby, but I'm, I'm having to monkey around with my pitch and my water flow. Uh, certain deposits over here have different sized sand granules. This black sand, it, it comes in bigger grains and smaller powder stuff, and that powdery stuff is full of gold, and it takes forever to wash off your system. It's just extremely heavy, and it's hard to run. But now that I'm letting this thing clear out just a little bit, I'm seeing gold in that gold hog mother load map like crazy. I'm gonna grab the camera and show that to you. And then, uh, oh, now I can see some of the sawtooth. I might just keep running. <laughs> it looks like we're doing pretty good. Hang on. All right, come here, you. That only took about two minutes, but I can see gold in there. Let me put that down into that one there. Yeah, where's my finger, right? Uh, right there. <laughs> There are some nice pieces in there too. Really nice pieces. Once, if you just sit there and stare at this thing for a little while, you can really pick up some great looking pieces in there. And then this here is showing some gold on occasion here as well. Really cool. I think, oh, I can see gold up in there as well too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, I might, I'm just gonna keep running, heck with it. There's another nice piece right there. I'm gonna keep running. Fill up that five gallon pail of tailings and then we'll do a cleanup. We'll see something cool. Blah. Oh man, it's TC and Magnum. Look at these guys coming in hot. We are still running away. And this is my cleanup right here. Now, there's a ton of black sand in here, but there is absolutely lots of gold in there. Now it's about four gallons. I didn't fill that pail all the way up. But watch as I run the water over this, over the sand, how much gold shows up in there. It's crazy. That's a darn half quarter inch thick right there all day long. I think this might be one of my best spots ever right here. And the size of the pieces too is really starting to impress me. Look at that, when I, when I get a little bit more aggressive up at the top, look at the gold showing up in there. I have no intentions of cleaning this all up out here because it takes forever. All right, let's take a look at exactly where we're digging. Now I have to step over some pretty darn good looking sand there. And this, there is some gold in that stuff, but it's not concentrated the way that I want it to be. So I just hop over this little log right here. And as you can see, I have a pan filled up right there already, or almost. And look down in here. All these little low pressure zones that are trapping the black sand in these areas and it's roiling around. And that gold is concentrating in these little areas. See, I've been picking in between those little rocks right there. And all this stuff right up against where that gravel starts. And right down in here, this stuff is really, really good. Look at that. So I've been just kind of picking and choosing, but it's paying off big time. There is a little bit of gravel in there, but that's fine. It seems to be going over my sluice all right. So we are on it, folks, that's for sure. Let me fill that one up. We'll get back to running. Well, we're done mining, and I thought, well, I better make the wife happy and grab the empty pail. Me and Rig are going, going to fill it up with some pretty beach rocks. Otherwise, who knows what might happen when we get home. We ran into Phil from Freedom Prospecting. Hey, everybody. And he's out here mining today. Still mining. It's getting a little late in the day. But when you're having fun, who cares? That's right. <laughs> All about fun. Yep. And he's doing pretty good. And there's a bunch of people up here mining. There's a whole bunch back that way mining. 
and it's mid-October. Can't ask for better weather than this. So now we gotta go get ourselves a big old five gallon pail of rocks <laughs> and drag it back to the truck. Thanks, Phil. Okay. Well, we finally came across enough rocks. I think I could get a, a good pile of going here. I've got a few in there. Pretty neat looking ones. Yeah. I think Mr. Wizard will appreciate that one. There's a couple more pretty cool ones in there. But back this way here, there really wasn't a whole lot of rocks, as you can see, until you get to right here, and then it just, there's rocks. <laughs> so it shouldn't take too darn long to fill this, fill this pail up. Now we're going to hit the road, jam some tunes, go check out the Fridge of Wonder, and run these cons. It's going to be good. <laughs> oh, she's going to like this one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's handsome. Mm -hmm. Another one right next to it. Put a little shellac on those. Those are really pretty up nice. We made it back to the shop. Finally. Oh my god. Uh oh. Better fill that up. The fridge of wonder. All right. I've been back for just a minute or two. Let me pop that baby open. We've got this baby all set up and ready to roll. I'm going to turn on my speed controller. And we have nothing. That might help. Take two. I'm gonna turn on my speed controller. All right, here comes the water. Real good. Let me get rid of a couple of these little bubbles up in here. Like such. And we'll begin feeding. I got a pretty good pile of black sand right there. We did a number of clean outs today and I saw lots and lots of gold. So I'm gonna take a little bit of time Run this stuff over my cleanup sluice. See what it looks like. All right, so we're just here feeding away. We're probably not even half done. I'm taking my time. I want to make sure I get it all. <laughs> it's looking really, really good. And I got to thinking about our 50,000 subscriber extravaganza. Uh, who knows? We might not even make it there, but all signs are pointing to yes. So, I'm uh, Kind of thinking about what I want to do, and I'm probably going to do a comment giveaway of some type or another. And I thought, you know, a couple bags of pay dirt, and I want to throw in uh, a brand new hoodie of your size or the winner's size. You know what I mean? And uh, also, uh, Blue Nest Beef, the guys that are supplying our beef sticks these days, those Bobo Links, they mailed me a couple of packets just for that subscriber giveaway extravaganza. So uh, all things are looking really good. I can't wait to do it. I think it's coming up fast. Let's keep feeding this stuff through there and get that big pile of gold. Back in a bit. P.S. Ms. Wizard already came out here and put a coat of shellac on these babies. Those are pretty good sized rocks right there, them couple. And they do have some character. Looks like they might be drying out just a hair. But I'll give you guys a look at each and... Each and every one of these, that's a handsome devil right there for sure. They all got something special going on and she likes them. That's the most important part right there. There's that fossil we found right there. And she really likes them green ones. <laughs> uh, I tell you. Brief intermission. Brief intermission. Brief intermission over all right that stuff is done running i'm excited it looks really good so i'm going to turn off the water and i'm going to just set it right in this pail right here and gravity will do the rest here comes the water gave her a couple up and downs a little left and right and ratatouille we got it looks pretty nice and clean Maybe a couple little dots in there yet. Uh, there. <laughs> now ratatouille. All right, we're almost done cleaning this stuff up. There's still, I don't know, maybe half a teaspoon of black sand or something in there, but it's slow going, especially with this much gold in here. So I always like to do this just because I know you guys like to see it. Look at that. <laughs> you get that when you get so much 
gold and you get down to just a bare minimum amount of black sand left over, you get that galaxy like that when you scrub your finger over the cross of it. That is going to be absolutely fantastic. I got about probably another 20 minutes, maybe half an hour on that. And we'll take a look at it. All right. This week's Tap to the Top is brought to you by Escape with Jay, a quality YouTube channel out there. That dude kayaked from the headwaters of the Mississippi all the way down to the outlet. <laughs> Crazy stuff. And he hooked me up with those meat sticks. Thanks, buddy. This Tap to the Top's for you. Let's get it up there. Oh, look at that big old smile. Wonderful. I think we got enough to weigh here. Let's get into a vessel and we'll dry it out and weigh it up. Got it. All right, we got our scale on. It's zeroed out. Here's our wonderful gold right here. That's a lot of pieces. I'm going to guess we have point. 0.26 of a gram. We were only out there for about three hours after we found the really good stuff. And we didn't really pound it through there, but we did all right. So we'll dump this in there. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. No way. No way. 0.68. Can you even see that? Let me move this darn camera one time. 0.68 grams. That is fantastic. I didn't think it would weigh that much at all. I couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier. 0.68, that's pretty darn good for about three hours. And that little bitty sluice right there, we had it dialed in perfectly. I wish we could have landed on it right away in the morning. Who knows what we could have wound up with today. Uh, but I'm happy nonetheless. It was a great fall day out. If every day in fall is going to be like this one here, I'll take fall all year long. So... Don't forget about our 50,000 subscriber extravaganza and like, share, subscribe. Please do leave a comment. It helps build our channel. Flower Gold Wizards, out. Oh. Ooh, I gotta find this wizard. That's right. Mm -hmm.